Well, it's been almost a full day. Full day. Sunday, I went to the barn today. Checked on Miss Morang. She's fine. Um, checked on a few other horses. Followed up with Danny. Danny O'Brien had a surgery today. And get a plate put in his... Um, he broke his fibula in his tibula. So, tibula? Yes, tibia. Fibula. Anyway, broke his ankle. Uh, or broke his leg. He's got to get a plate put in in four to six weeks. Um, obviously, not good news. But at the same time, I think it could always be worse. And then Aaron didn't break her wrist. It looks like she chipped it. I think she said she chipped it. Either way, if she chipped it, sprained it, broke it, it's all going to be the same. She's out of action for a little bit. Uh, but they'll heal. Um, so it's just a, a stark and a grim reminder of how serious this industry can be sometimes and how you have to be very, very careful. Um, those things happen. I know Kevin texted me last night and was a little upset, a little distressed because the video I put out said, well, Kevin stopped them up quick. We did, but I've stopped them up quick. So is James, so is Danny, so is everybody. You can't go to the, you can't accelerate to the front end and keep going. <laughs> I'm going to get angry. So I think it was just uh, one of those things where Kevin cinched her up, the Phillies finally being behaved, and, um, you know, she put a step in and made a break. So, or I didn't make a break, sorry, put a step in, and then James just kind of running, barreled over the back of him. Now, the, the odd thing was is that this happened to Miss Meringue not a month ago. She ran over somebody again. She's pretty bully. Uh, apparently, she's not very timid, but <laughs> pretty bully. Uh, anyway, it's unfortunate but everybody's fine uh danny will heal aaron will heal and miss moran can continue on she'll need a little bit of an easy week next week a few little bumps and bruises and scrapes and whatnot but uh nothing serious so we're gonna start this week uh you know what let's start with kevin's burn let's start with kevin's burn kevin's burn uh has a lot of horses ready to rock and looking very very good some good trainers again yesterday. I was really pleased to see Need Your Opinion come first over and look great. Johnny said she's a powerhouse. Path of Totality was nothing short of sensational yesterday. Uh, I had somebody say, well, Brushcut looked flat. Brushcut is doing a great job. One, he got over a half. He didn't hit himself. He looked very fluid. He came his last half and 101 and a piece. We were smoking in that race. That set was more like a race. Went a little fast. Uh, and Kevin did the right thing, just kept the horse back, went a real good mile. Brushcut's not going to race at Tamiko. What's the point of pushing him or hurting him? I thought it was a great, I watched the video again, he went a great mile, he finished up his mile good. It's just tough to make up ground when those horses are rocking. And, you know, I came first over with Arctic Forest. Arctic Forest is a legit colt. He's no pig. This is a good horse. And I come first over and, and Sunshine and Shade just hung on. Uh, I just coasted up alongside of him down by the wire. But uh, Sunshine and Shade was very, very good. So we're going to go through Kevin's horses. Adrenaline Rush was great yesterday. I was I was glad to see him. He got, kind of got bottled up in the last turn and backed him out around them. We were really pacing on the end of it. And Adrenaline Rush, both Adrenaline Rush and where we was up did their work very, very well yesterday. But Adrenaline Rush, as I said, starting to be a very, very nice horse. Kevin's always been really, really high on him and liked him a lot. And I can see why. He's a really good-looking horse. Got a great attitude. Uh, I would stop, stop short of saying his work ethic is great. But his attitude is fantastic, and, and uh, he's really coming on. Better's Hope looked good again yesterday. Kevin said he was a little rolly, but the track was deep when we were going, and I think that's a horse that's not going to like a very deep track very much. So uh, Better's Hope, a little rolly, but not bad. Brush Cut was good. Uh, as I said, I, I certainly wasn't disappointed with Brush Cut. I thought the horse went great yesterday. He went a very, very good mile and finished up strong, cruising in style. I believe George and Kevin said he's going to start. She, he's going to start back training on Tuesday, so that'll be his first training trip back. Bottle of red. We had a number of clients say, "Where's this horse? Where's that horse? Where's this horse?" I'm sorry I didn't put scratched on the bottom of the training set. I'll do that from now on. Um, but there is no issues with any of the horses. Just wanted to give them an easy day. Why do we need to train Bottle of Red every week? Bottle of Red just needs to be kept up. We're not going to be racing for at least four weeks at the earliest. So uh, why do we need to gun Bottle of Red? Be a good time to try and keep her healthy and sound. Put some weight on her. So Bottle of Red didn't go yesterday, but is in great spirits. Don't believe me, just watch. I believe is almost ready to start back uh, with us soon. Emerald Mist, same thing. Just go easy with her. She looks like a million bucks. Kevin's got some weight on her. She looks awesome. Frontier Cruise didn't go yesterday. Again, just an easy week. He's been training her. Hometown Boys just did his work. You know, went a mile like 210 yesterday. That's all he needed to go, 210, 211. Um, I've been happy with him, as I said to everybody else. Uh, Hometown Boys just simply isn't going to train great at Tomiko Training Center. What's up, bud? When you're done your videos, can you come in the backyard? I want to show you how I fit. Okay, keep practicing, I'll be in the bed. Um, my um, wind up is like this. So, 
I do that, I wait for a long time, and then I release it. Oh, really? And then... A little quick pitch. It goes really fast, that goes right down the middle. Okay, I'm coming in to see you. Go practice. <laughs> Ollie's actually pretty good at baseball. So, where are we at? Hometown boys, uh, he was fine. Miss Brampton Beast was good uh, yesterday training. Also, Need Your Opinion was absolutely fantastic. I was really impressed with her. Uh, Kevin's got her looking real good, and Johnny did a great job with her. Path of Totality, I said to Kevin yesterday, I'm pretty sure uh, it's a lot to tackle those top. That top crew in Pennsylvania is good, real good. And you guys saw that last year, but I think, I believe right now, Path of Totality could easily be a sire steak filly. This is a nice filly, durable and quick on her feet. Really, really good filly. Sunshine in May obviously got jammed up yesterday in that uh, the mishap in the 11th set. Time all Houdini trained good yesterday, coming on strong in the middle. Now, Willpower Fashion was one horse. We had to take him to the university. He had sick, and he ended up with pleuritis, pleurisy. Uh, they drained a pile of fluid out of his chest cavity, and now he's fine. I asked him, well, how does this happen? You know, there's not, no other horse shows this. So it's just one of those things. Uh, he could be more more prone to something like this and starts as a, as a minor uh, minor virus and turns into this uh, infection. And uh, he seems to be in good spirits now. He'll come home on Tuesday. War we was up. James went with him yesterday. He said he's a real nice Colt. Watch Avenue. Easy day for him and Zeb, Zeb Sunshine. Can't always be gunning them, especially a big horse like Watch Avenue. No need to keep gunning him. He's been very, very good. Just went an easy mile yesterday, both him and Zeb Sunshine. So that's Kevin's burn. Starting to get things geared up here, hopefully for the summer. It is May the 3rd. May the 3rd, and um, we hope we'll begin qualifying these horses in about five weeks. I did uh, get a starting gate type thing, so we have a three-horse starting gate. We're going to start putting these babies behind the gate next Wednesday, I believe. See how they seem behind the gate. So that's all of Kevin's horses. I'll be back in just a minute with all the other ones.